Well, it's pretty much packed, which is great to see for this first semi-final. Judd Trump, the defending champion, he won the title last year in Romania. And he's still here despite a couple of deciders along the way. And Chao Yupeng, first ever major semi-final for him. Marcel Eckhart to referee, first to six. There's an interval after four, and it's Judd Trump to get us underway. Judd Trump starts favourite, but uh, by no means a certainty. He knows he's got to produce the goods. Chao Yupeng had a great win yesterday over Mark Williams. And uh, I think him and Zhao Yulong being in the semi-finals just underlines the strength and depth in Chinese snooker. We saw Li Hang at the China Championship in the semis. We saw Zhu Zi as well in the Indian Open in the semis. Big chance, Mike, today for this man. Certainly is. Yes, there's a few of them around now, isn't there? All playing really well. And once you get to the semi-finals, and of course the best of 11s, but more wriggle room, you've got to fancy your chances. These boys playing for £17,500 today. They will guarantee themselves 35,000 tomorrow in the final. And of course, the big one, the winner's check of 75,000 pounds. Foul. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's unlucky. Judge Trump, seven. It was a good cue ball as well. And as we know, since just the players came into the arena, packed house. The audiences this week have been fantastic. They've really come out in their numbers to support these guys, and it, it builds the atmosphere. But the defending champion still here looking to retain the trophy and he's got every chance yes okay he's favorite today but he knows how well chow has been playing and how dangerous he is As usual, when we get to the latter stages and longer matches, four frames to be played in an interval, unlike the rest of the week when it was just the best of seven straight through. Chance here for Judd. There is a red here to the left corner, and he can negotiate the cue ball, I think. That's if he's going for it. Oh, well, that was purely because he didn't pot the red came off the top cushion at a different angle. He nearly got away with that, apart from the one into the middle. So, an early chance. If you watch the replay, there was a gap there for the cue ball, but an early chance then for Chao Yupeng. Well, this is exactly what he needed in his first ever semi-final, a chance like this, Reds open, just to settle in, try and put something together. Fell off the tour last year, got straight back on, though, through the Q school. That's not easy to do. Some good players there in Preston. I think the danger here for Judd is... Pushes the boat out too much, takes one or two liberties, which sometimes he's, he's prone to. Not as much these days as he has before, but if he takes this lad lightly, it could get sticky for him. Because this lad can play. We know that. That's why he's here in the semi finals. Seven. Just concentrate on the blue for the time being. It doesn't really matter how you, you get over the winning line. Could try and put the black on its spot in a few minutes' time, but it doesn't matter. Just build a 30. nice lead beforehand. Just pick them off. Make it simple.
Marcel Eckhart there in the background from Germany, our referee for this first semi-final. Olivia Martil is the recorder. Uh, we haven't had a confirmation yet, but I, I assume that you will be doing the final tomorrow. Being from Belgium, there's Marcel. Jean Chiers will be doing the second semi-final this evening. Ninety. were signs that he was coming into form at the recent world opening up to the last 16 24. beat Stuart Bingham and then lost out to Luca Purcell 5-4 he's had a couple of deciders this week beat uh, an open Senkam in the last 64 and Billy Joe Castle Last 16, both 4-3. Knocked out a couple of world champions as well, Ken Doherty and Mark Williams. Well, we've had 44 centuries this week, but Chow hasn't had one here at the venue. He had one in the qualifying section. 30. But he's here in the semi-finals. So that just shows you. Well, he's singing the blues at the minute, but he's got no choice, really. Pink and black, not really available. Thirty-six. Yeah, these lads from China are always very placid, have good temperaments. We saw Xiao Yulong yesterday, I and mean, how well did he play in those last two frames? Terrific. Oh, top draw. And they're, they're finding their feet as well on the professional circuit. Do you know if this lad plays at Victoria's Academy? Oh, uh, David, is he based in Sheffield like the others, or is he somewhere else? Do you know? I'm not I'm quite not, sure, actually. I'm not entirely sure where mm. he plays. Well, Trump went for that long red, but uh, Xiao Yuping, so far, is punishing. 43. And he keeps getting the right side of the blue as well, which, of course, is the key thing. Just travelled a little far there, but uh, he's never been wrong side. This was the red that Trump went for. Yes, and if he pots the red, he doesn't cannon into the other ones. He, there was a path there for the cue ball. doesn't like the blue he's looking at the green well anything just past the blue would be fine with a cue ball it'd be on this, this uh, right hand red oh he's gone for the others one down here that's he's cued up really well 46 Possibility he might play on the black here. Well, I think he's down for the blue. That's the percentage shot, really. Just keep the break going. Don't take any unnecessary risks. It's, it's still got three or four reds open. 
you can win the frame here with blues. Now he needs a nice nudge. 47. It's going to be green again. Break goes to 47, and he's working really hard for these. He's got a problem here because it's if the white's coming off the back cushion, it could collide into the brown. Has to be careful. I think it's just okay with medium pace. Well, he's played the stun, so that's fair enough. Slow down, slow down. Just about 50. there. I think he'll be taking this on. He wants to stay at the table if he can. side of the blue and that's perfect now every chance to win the opening frame yes and he won't mind knocking a couple of reds safe because he's not going to need them trump will very assured start this from chow yu peng Forty nine the lead, just a couple of reds with colours will be enough. Well seven. He's definitely given notice to Judd here. I'm not here to come second. I want to be in tomorrow's final. Sixty-three. Slightly hampered. And he needs this red. Well, there we go. That was frame ball. So you bomb. 63. We see it so often. Well, he left it all for himself. It wasn't a straightforward pot. Now he's glad to see a red on the cushion, although it's not bound to be on the cushion for long. So, not quite there yet. 56 in front with 59 on. Yeah, just all cocooing. Well, a little bit unlucky to land there anyway, but there it's frame over. Oh, I was about to say he's made up for it, though. I thought that was in. It's not bad, actually, because that red is to the left of the pocket. It's not right on the edge, so for Judd to make a plant here, it has to be accurate, but I thought that was in there. Yeah, just a bit wide. But where it's landed, this is not easy for Judd. And he could play the outside red, the left-hand one, and play the can and land on the black. That's a possible. To play in here, thin edge. Oh, well, he tried to swerve it around the red and that is frame over. So, good start for the world number 77. Chow Yu-Ping got that early chance. OK, didn't quite kill it off 
in one visit, but he's killed it off now. Six. Sort of gone AWOL, as I say, dropped off the tour, wasn't getting results. Didn't have a great season last year, actually, but what a great start to this campaign and a great start to this match. He's overcooked that one, Sorry, but it doesn't matter. He's done enough to win the frame. And a first pick. Judd Trump undoubtedly starts favourite, but he's got to get to six. That's the bottom line if he's going to reach the final. Chao Yiping has won the opening frame of this semi-final. Join us again shortly live in Belgium for frame two. To break. Trump didn't do much wrong first frame. He went for a long red mist and sat out the 63. And then it was just a bit awkward when he came back to the table. Well, thought about taking on the red, thought uh, better of it. Long way to go, best of 11, of course. Plenty of time. Could um, free up the black here. Just push the red on. Yeah, that's pretty good. Blocked off the right-hand side. There's a thin edge for Judd there on the left, though. Good return. This is a little bit awkward here for Chow. Might be forced into taking one on. He's, well, elevating the butt of the queue, so he's trying to pot this and stun through the gap. Well, at least it missed everything with the cue ball. But unfortunately, he's left that one on. I mean, that wasn't easy. Judd uh, had him in trouble there, so the first real chance then for Judd to get his hand on the table, put some points on the board. But again, pink and black, not well tied up, not in a great position, so it's going to be one of those. He's going to have to wow. concentrate on the blue. 
about uh, like Saudi in the opening frame. Got to be careful here. This could go wrong. It's a good positional shot around the houses. Six. Well, he's got the right hand one. He's going to have to work hard here, though, to put anything together where they are. And it's a stretch over the brown. So not down as the norm. Well done. <laughs> Hang on, though. Hang on. Foul, no. Judge Ram, six. Sorry, you pong for. Well, that was purely because he was stretching over the brown and couldn't get down to the shot properly. No real damage done, though. I don't think there's anything on there for Chow Yupeng. Although, having said that, there's this red near the corner. Wasn't sure whether he could see it. Well done. <laughs> well, he walks away from that because he thought that was in, but he's got a pot to the yellow, to the middle, but... There's no percentage in that, really. Difficult to get onto the next red. So we'll probably just play a safety off the green. Try and leave it, the cue ball awkward. <coughs> well, he thought that was in. I think he's taken the yellow on. There is a couple of reds that go to the left corner. Well, he did have the angle, and that's a great pot to get there, it really is. Well, he's not holding back. No, it's a good sign that great. he's feeling confident. As I say, getting an early chance in the first frame, I think, is what he needed, just to settle himself in. But he's doing what you've got to do when you play the real top players. Take the game to them, try and get them under pressure. Still an awkward table, but uh, he is in. Yeah, if they sense any negativity, they'll jump on you. Four. Well, you might take a calculated risk here. Well, the perennial question, where's the cue ball going? Where's JV when you need him? But uh, into the pink here. Well, again, oh, hang on. Oh, that's so, so unlucky because he went Four. aggressive. Didn't deserve that. No, and the worst thing is he's now opened everything up. Pink and black now pot, the reds are open, but they're going to be Judd Trumps. It wasn't, where's the cue ball going there? It's where the, where's the red ball going? And the answer is in. Unlucky. We'll have to get another T-shirt made. One. That was unlucky because these would have been his. So frustrating, I think. You know, you play the positive shot, and you could lose the frame from it. You fancy Trump from here to put something together. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. That's kicked. Seventeen. And it's stopped. But I think he's still on the pink. Definitely played on the black. That was a heavy contact there.
He played it at pace, but uh, the, the pocket only just grabbed it. Twenty-three. Over the pink and the cue ball cleaned. Well, this was the cannon into the pink. For me, it was the correct shot, but to see the red go in, when I mean, he went aggressive, and again, he didn't deserve that. Twenty-four. Judge Trump's twenty-fourth world ranking event semi-final, looking to win his eighth title this 31. weekend. Chow has just been made to 32. ponder his bad luck, and that's what it was. I suppose you know one thing he can say is it wasn't a mistake; it was just unlucky. Yeah, but mm, shouldn't get down on himself. It's only the second frame, of possible eleven. Thirty-nine. Looks fed up. Concentrate on the next one, young man. If this one has gone. Forty. Just not there yet. He'll probably play a cannon into the two reds here, just to loosen them. Decided to go for the open red, that's fair enough. Yeah, well, again, that was a percentage shot because he only needs to probably have the red and the pink. To leave Charlie needing snookers. The cannon was probably an unnecessary risk. 48. Well, again, why did he play that? He's played an unnecessary risk there. He just stay on the pink. He needs this black now. 55. Made the most of the chance that 55. came along when Chow was unlucky to see that red go in. And this has given Trump a chance to get going in the match, which he didn't have in the opening frame. Yeah, and that black going in means that Chow needs two snookers. It won't matter now. 56. Sixty one. Shut Trump. Sixty one. So sixty one from Chow Yuping's bit of bad luck. Had a chance there, Chow. Had that red not gone in, they were all there for him. But it was Judd Trump who made the winning break in that frame, and he's levelled the semi final at one frame all. Evening. For semi final, all square at the moment, one each, Chao Yu Peng and Judd Trump. And uh, Trump, in the end, when that chance came, took it very nicely indeed, just as Chow had in the first frame when he got his chance. A 63 from him. Okay, that wasn't a frame winning break, but he did win the frame, and Trump 61. Yeah, Chow very unlucky when he played the cannon. Here we go. I mean, again, it was the right shot to play, but to see them make the plant into the red, I mean, terrible. I mean, uh, well, wasn't happy. Not surprised. Well, put that behind you there. Oh, carry on. It's only one apiece. Thank you. The third frame. Judge Trump to break. Not sure whether he's left this red on the left hand side. Whether Chow can see the potting angle. Might be able to. Wasn't that far away? It's not bad. He's got away with that. I 
think Judd thought about trying to just dollar that red into the right centre for the black, but should take this cue ball down towards the yellow pocket. Well, from my point of view, I just think Machow has been playing really well this week. Best of 11, though, but if this goes down to the wire and gets close, you just fancy that experience might tell. We shall see. Little flick off the yellow has helped a little. Oh, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Oh. Fractions. Chow would have had the red to the middle as well, with the ball in the deep. This looks good pace. It's played it well. Just avoided the double kiss like Jert, but sure whether you can cut that one back in. It looks pretty thin to me. He's looking for the safety. <coughs> well, this red is cuttable from there. Cue ball up and down the table, might land on the brown or the green. And then he, he could be away. Oh, well, he missed it all, all together on the way up. It's not a bad finish, though. Well, a few applause, but he didn't play that way. Oh, that's top draw. <laughs> Judd's played one there. He's uh, applied the pressure. Marcel they got needing to have a look as well just in case they've got to go back. Well, caught that a little bit on the thick side. Well, unless Judd attacks here, it'll be a, a safety off the edge of the pack.
not good. Caught the angle of the pocket, far too thick on the red, so Judd has forced the error. One. Well, although Judd lost the first frame, it's a fairly solid frame from Chow, but suddenly this could become 2 1 and then 3 1, and he might take control of the semi final. Doesn't take this guy too long to rattle up the brakes. 470 career centuries is how he'll, I'm sure, will surpass the 500 mark this year. He had 70 last season. Six. There's a lot of players down the list that haven't had 70 centuries in their career. He's got them open. I think the black will spot. 13. Fourteen. There's a little cannon there, might just run into those reds on the right hand side. Didn't have to. Twenty one. Twenty two. He's a very attacking player, we know that, but he's a very attacking player with a great safety game, and that's how he's forced his way in, forced the error from Chow. 29. Might be back down for the blue here. Well, there's plenty of reds that uh, will part to various pockets. He might be sitting this one out. Well, it's, uh, it, it doesn't take any time 35. at all for frames and matches to turn around, and Chow was probably a few balls away from leading 2-0. And in a few minutes' time, he might be 2-1 behind. Thirty-six. Forty-one. Just come up a bit short here. Yes, but it's handy that the yellow is of its own spot, so he's got plenty of room there. That's good. Say that I think he might have gone a fraction too far. He was looking to get fairly straight on this red, but is he on it? He's got one on, on the left there. Oh. What about that one? Well, this first semi final, he's warming up. I don't know, somebody moving in the crowd. 
back to away. Well, there's a lesson for you youngsters at home. If you're not happy, back away. It'll still be there when you come back. Fifty-five. Well, good stuff. There's sixty-three in the first by Chow Yu Peng, sixty-one in the last by Judd to win that one, and and now these and counting. Sixty-three. Are we about to see the first century? on semi-finals day. 64. The blue is frame ball. This has been a really good contribution. 64. Worth remembering that uh, Judd Trump could have been out. Last 32 is 3-1 down to Martin O'Donnell. Battled back, held off the Mark Allen comeback yesterday. Yeah, Seven. I've seen it before. He could win today, he can win tomorrow. Seventy-six. Seventy-seven. Well, uh, so far this has been superb. Eighty-five. Well, there's no doubt that Judd is in straight 92. now. Playing well. 93. Well, he sent a message to Chow Yu Peng, and now he has to respond. 95. Well, delightful. Century break, warmly applauded by this large crowd here in wow. Lamel. Chuck Trump. 100. And the it ends at 100 exactly. Jeff Trump queuing really well there, and he, in very short order, goes into the lead 2 1. Oh, His fourth century of this European Masters, 100 exactly, to lead 2 1. 'll see this red on the right hand side might take this on oh, well played well it was difficult to get safe from One. focus the mind but he's landed a little bit straight on the blue just look at that there's no angle at all there great cue in that is could play the brown Marcel just shushing someone there. But uh, great to see Pact House first Rumble. major ranking event in Belgium for 23 years, remember? Mm, I'm loving this, as we are. Oh, not bad. I'm lucky that he just hit the black a little bit on the Thanks. full side. This this red is still cuttable though. This guy is starting to turn it on here. This is a little bit tricky though. Too thin. Overdid it, would you believe that? It wouldn't have got there anyway. Trump five. 
Yeah, quite a severe overcut, that. Oh dear, but Chow unable to take advantage. Well, I don't know why he played it that way. To have made sure and just gone down for the blue. I think that's the more difficult shot playing it at that pace. One. Well, it might and should get punished. It's got this Eight. one to the corner, but it's also got a straight one to the yellow pocket. I think he'd just slide off these as he playing back. Oh. Straight away went to get them open. But slow down. Nine. I just got into the white too much. I think the blue is on. He might even take the blue on in the mood that he's in at the moment. Stun over for the red on the left hand side. Let's look at the batsman here. Too much. Blue ball. He's taking the blue on. Oh, hello. Hello. He's on it. Yeah, he just fully expected Coffee. to pop that, and he did. Well, it's great when Judd's in this mood and they're going in. Talk about Ronnie being box office, but this guy is, is also. Well, looking a bit down there, Chow. Could be 3 1 down at the interval, but you know, it's the best of 11. It's still a long way to go. But he missed that, uh, the initial red into that left corner. 15. So you can't say he didn't have the chance. No, this whole match turned around with one shot. It was the second frame. Chow Yupeng potted the blue, knocked a red in, very unlucky. Doesn't seem to have quite recovered from that. Trump won the frame from it, got his confidence up, and he's playing great now. Yeah, and even if it is 3-1, look at this is the red. I, I thought, you know, he's trying to dolly it in for the, the black or the pink, but make sure, even go down for the blue that was available. But even if this is 3-1, well, that's gone wrong. Unless there's a plant there to the right corner. Even if it goes 3-1 at the interval, you know, Chow will have 15, 20 minutes or so just to think about what's going on and regroup. Now, are these two reds set to the right corner? I don't think he's landed on anything there. Well, <laughs> he's looking at a plant, but there's some distance between those. But if they're lined up... And they are pretty lined up, actually. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they the, were fairly dead straight. We still have to hit them well, but what a shot that is. Terrific. Could win the frame. Well, there must be some days when Judd Trump just feels he can't miss, and Betty. there are some days when he doesn't. Which is great for us, and for the crowd. 31. Of course, there's going to be a 15-minute interval after this frame. He wants to stay out there, but uh, that will certainly help Chow Yupeng. Because he's, uh, he's on the end of a battering at the moment. 38. 61, 100 in the last frame, and these. There could be another 39. ton here. Who knows? 
Well, we've just seen the confidence he has in his own game. The blue he took on, that plant as well. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Just a fraction low on the black, but he can hold for the red. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. Well, he didn't have to play the cannon. He's got a loose red, which opens up another one. Mm, a little bit short of pace, which I think now he'll be running into reds. He wanted to be dead straight or, or high on this 62. one. Sixty-two. Well, I don't think it's the pot that's the problem. It's, it's getting back onto the black. Well, Chow Yu Pan get another chance. If this goes in, I would say no. Well, he had to drive the cue ball through the reds. I say no, but he might get another chance. Well, he needs a snooker. 68 behind with 67 on. Yeah, correct. So the main thing there was the pot. Yeah, missed that, David. Good point. Too thin. Well, it's Jack only one Trump. snooker, so there is uh, some sort of light for Chow, but uh, another good break from Trump, 63, on the cusp of a 3-1 lead. Well, he's got to show his medal here. So he metal here now. He still has a chance to make it two apiece. One. Eight. Nine. Well, take two reds with two blacks, leave the last red on. And the colours are in good position, actually, for snookers, wherever they are lined up. Mm, tried to force that one in. Sorry, Pong. Well, he's had enough. It all turned around in that second frame. He was unlucky. He has had chances since then, but I don't think he quite recovered from that body blow when that red went in, the potting the blue. Judd Trump grew in confidence. Trump's played some great stuff, really has. And the defending champion is halfway now towards a place in tomorrow's final. Leading Chao Yupeng here in Belgium by three frames to one. And we'll be looking to get this one, I'm sure, as quickly as you can now. Fifth frame, Chad Trump the break. One or two spectators just uh, still filing in after Refreshments. Oh, this has uh, been a good match, actually, so far. Judd in control at the moment. Would have liked to probably have stayed out there. Now it's all about Zhao Yupeng here. He needs to respond. He looked a bit down as he walked out after that fourth frame. He's got to forget about what's gone on and concentrate on things ahead.
Well, there was a gap there. That was an attempted pop. Just not worth finish with the cue ball. That's super. Well, that also is a good return. I keep saying it. <laughs> you play those safeties, they play them time and time again, but once it misses the bolt colours, it makes all the difference. But having said that, there might be one on here for Chow Yu Peng. The red on the right hand side that's nearest to us. I think he can get through to that one. Colourful back in on that waistcoat. Didn't want to catch the blue. That could be expensive. One. So he's in again. Last year in the semi-final stage, he beat Mark Selby, having already beaten John Higgins in the quarters, and then Ronnie O'Sullivan in the final. Great. So they were three great scouts. About as hard as it gets, really, to win a tournament. Last three rounds. He had a great season. He was in five finals, won two titles. The big disappointment, though, was the World Championship for him. Lost first round to Rory McLeod. And that's gone wrong. He's caught the pack on the way back there, and I don't think he's on this red. Or is he? Might be. Well done. Twelve. Well, he's got a good angle on the brown and the green here. There are two reds that still go into the left corner. Yeah, made just under £450,000 at the table last year, Judd. It's gone beyond the £3 million mark in prize money. Pretty good. Well, he's such a good potter that if he does slightly lose position, as we saw on the red a minute ago, he can recover very quickly. No, it's just a little bit low on this red, so that's fine, that's actually, because he can pot this and come back off the pack for the black. Open up one or two more. 25. Well, he's not just too open. Likes the finer things in life, Judd. Holidays, the fine cars 32. and whatever, but why not? If you're in, isn't it? Enjoy. 33. Well, that red is still available, but this would help if the pink goes onto the blue spot. I think it might go onto its own spot, so he's going to have to be careful here. I think he should be okay. Just leave the white. Roughly where the pink is. Yeah, I think the pink just could go on. Thirty-nine. 
Thoughts about it? Well, it's handy to be able to do that. Switch hands. No doubt Ronnie O'Sullivan is the best at that. Mmm. Well, he's spent a lot of time in that chair over the last hour or so. Chow Yupeng has played really well to get to this semi-final, but seven. welcome to the big time. Well, again, this could be a key shot here. If he gets a good split, it's 4-1. Yeah, well, well done. I mean, beautiful. How well did he strike that? 55. Well, it's going to have to be a pretty dramatic turnaround 56. for Chudrup not to reach the final. This was uh, another terrific shot just to open things up. Yeah, and it, it hit it beautifully. I mean, the backspin reacted and just slowed down on the net. Well, he's had breaks of 61, 100, 63. 63. And another 63 and counting. This is phenomenal stuff. This is phenomenal break building. Power scoring. 64. So this black, and once again, Chow Yupeng needs snookers. In no time at all. Trump just needing one chance in each of these frames. And once again, when it came along, he was ruthless. Well, what can he do against this? You know, he, he just puts pressure. Well, that's what he's doing, putting pressure on, on his opponent. And uh, Chow Yupeng knows he's bang up against it now. 72. One mistake, that's it. Bye bye. Seventy nine. Eighty. Well, I'm sure many people here will be watching live snooker this week for the first time. They'll be uh, admiring this play. Well, that could have finished uh, a lot better. He's looking, to, for, of course, for another century. Yeah, I'm not sure. that He it's might seven. have to try and make the plant here out of these two reds. Can't see the other one, I don't think. Or can he? No. What a pity. Still another terrific break. A swift effort of 87 from Judd Trump. It's four on the spin from him and he's only two away. Chow Yupeng looking to make a good start after the interval, but for him it's gone from bad to worse because Trump now leads by four frames to one. Turn this around. Can't see Judd Trump not continuing the intensity, so Chow's got to up his own game. Yeah, it might be her first time at the snooker. Thank you very much, darling, for bringing me here to watch this because I'm enjoying this. And so are we. Great stuff from Judd Trump. Could be a birthday, could be an anniversary, who knows? Well wide. Well, Chow has to dig in here, but with Judd in this form, don't be surprised if this goes in. Hmm. Hold the back page. But he's got away with it. Well, I'm not red anyway.
Looks like there's a few dragons on the back of that waistcoat, David. He's going to fire himself up here. Well, he's at the stage, really, where that had to go in, I think. It didn't. Just a question of whether he has actually got away with it. Body language isn't good. It really wasn't from that second frame when that misfortune happened. Well, he was well down as he walked out after the fourth frame, got into the interval. That's when he needed to regroup, regather himself. Yes, and he'd left the gap there, as you see, so Trump back in. One. Well, this is becoming a mauling. Six. Great exhibition here by Judd, though, with uh, the skill and the abilities for power scoring. Huh. And there's another one. Might have the back red. 13. Look at that. 13, 95%. Incredible. Thirteen. Well, you can do this to players from Judd when he's in this mood. A lot of others can as well. All right, so from Robbo and Ronnie and when they're really on it. You just finish up mm, sitting in that chair and admiring it. And you have to. Eighteen. Well, all these stats we're seeing are good for Judge Trump. Look at this, the uh, safety in that changing hands. As if to rub it in here. <laughs> Ninety. did have a few missteps uh, when he was younger. Of course, he was a very talented junior. A lot was expected of him, but it's tough in those qualifiers. He came up against a lot of the, the old war horses of the game and had a few early disappointments. But when he won the China Open 2011, broke through as a top player, and ever since then, he's been very much a top player. He's been world number one. 26. UK champion, won various tournaments and challenged for others as well, been in a world final. Well, he just, like all the others, just matured within himself and matured at the table. Thirty-four. I think the first time I ever saw Judd, David, was at Pontins by Staten. Played him in the final of the program there. I think he was 12, 11 or 12. Never miss the ball. Unbelievable. Had to, uh, had to pull him out of the crash, I think it was. Phenomenal. Just knocked him in off the lampshades. I think he beat me 4-1. Did well to get that one. Oh, is that another star of the future? Perhaps he'd be, he'd be loving this. Taking some pointers. We need some new blood from Europe. Would be nice. The Chinese players are coming through. But some new blood from the UK and Europe would be fantastic. The game is no doubt in a very, very healthy position at the moment. Chow Yupeng, not so much, though. He's uh, just in that chair again. It's going to come down to Trump getting these reds open when he's going to win the frame at this visit. 49. Fifty. Just wanted a, a fraction more on the white, but you can hit the edge of them. Ah, uh, hang on gone slightly wrong. I think he might have to play the one on the right hand side, but he's queuing that well. Don't think you can see enough of the back red. Well this is a, this is the only chance for me that Chow will have if he misses this one. 
it goes in, it's 5 1. Oh. I mean, was it ever in doubt? And how well did he hit that? Stroked it in. Sixty-three. Let's not forget that this guy is a defending champion. What a defence this is. He's getting ever closer to 64. tomorrow's final. Yeah, this is frame ball again. And he's done it again. Just one chance. A big break. Frame over. This is absolutely relentless. 71. Seventy-two. Well, this is a stunning snooker of Judd Trump. Absolutely stunning. Seventy-nine. Well, it's already a tall order at the interval, 3-1. It was looking uh, difficult, but now, virtually impossible. Trump in this form. 85. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the red off, but the black's a bit tricky to continue. Can't believe I said that. Well, it's not an exhibition, it's a right. world ranking event semi final, but uh, it's been an exhibition of great snooker, put it that way, from Trump. Yeah, he's purposely played on the pink there to make the ton. He could have played on the blue, but of course, then you'll need the final red. So, this for yet another century. Second of the match for Judd Trump. Well, it's just been brilliant. Really has. Yeah. What a day to have a ticket. 100. Well, he'd be short on the brown, but hang on, he'll knock this blue in. Stay on the yellow. Well, these pockets are buckets. He's hitting the ball so well, they are buckets. I'll tell you what, as a professional snooker player, that is an unbelievable feeling inside. It really is. He can do no wrong. May see a, a few exhibition shots now. Scenic group with the brown. <laughs> yeah, these cushions should be scared. They should be very scared. <laughs> Tremendous stuff. Hey. One hundred and fifty. Easy tiger. A declaration of love from the audience. That's how much that guy's enjoying it. Yeah. Let's see what he does with the blue here. So, they're all loving this, why wouldn't you? It's great snooker from Judd Trump, 115, his second century of the afternoon, puts him one away from a place in the final. Sensational stuff, Judd Trump leads Chang Yuping, 5-1. So Judd Trump has unleashed a barrage of big breaks to win five on the spin, two centuries in there, 5-1, and he needs one more to reach the final. Well, no disrespect to Chow Yu Pang, but you've got to say it's pretty much all over the semi final. It's just a question of the score, really. It's going to be very difficult for him to get back into this now. Judd Trump is red hot. Certainly played his ace card today. Unlucky. Oh dear. <laughs> Here we go again, maybe.
one. Well, the final is over 17 frames tomorrow. This guy's going to take some stopping. I mean, chair wasn't that far away from that one, but when you've been sat in a chair for that length of time, it's difficult to come back to the table and find that rhythm. You just feel that you will not get another shot here because Judd is looking for the kill. 205 points right. without reply. I think the worst thing Chow did was to win the first frame. He got Judd angry, I think. Had a chance in the second. And as David has mentioned, it all turned around at the second frame. But uh, this, is, this has been unbelievable scoring from Judd Trump. 11. Twelve. No pressure on the other two boys this evening to follow this. That could be a good battle there, actually. Stuart Bingham playing well, and we know how Zhao Yulong finished off his match yesterday against uh, Anthony Miguel. 90. So another one to look forward to. Twenty. Well, certainly not a long match, and uh, there may not be much longer left to run here. An hour and fifteen for six frames. It's gone a little bit wrong there, though. It could play on the red to the middle. Has he got any angle at all on this black? Well, some. And he's got the red to the middle as well. Twenty-seven. Mind you, you know, if it is six-one, there's always something to learn. Twenty-eight. Can't really take into the safe in, into this man the safety stats because there hasn't been much safety played. It's been just power scoring really from this man at the table. Oh well, is he on this bottom red? He's got one to the middle, but if he's on the bottom red. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. And the other things as well is you've got to admire not what Judd's doing here, his powers of concentration to sustain this over four or five frames. Luba. You know you're playing well, striking the ball well, but sometimes you can just take your foot off the gas a little bit. Now, has he landed on this back red? I don't think he's come Forty. far enough down. Mm, that will annoy him, because if he pops the bottom red, he opens up another one to the opposite corner. There's a possible plant there, but that would be outrageous. It would be a naughty one. Yeah. And that is a naughty double. Oh. Well, there's a couple of people cheering as this red left this cushion. They knew it was flying in the pocket. And then he misses the black off the spot. <laughs> Amazing. First miss from him of any significance for a long time in this match. So it's not over yet. Well, at least he's not left a red on. 
I will say one thing, David. I think this venue, as you watch the re replay, this venue has been great. The crowds have been great. And for me, this tournament is here to stay. They've waited 23 years. There's a very nice atmosphere about the place. They've mm. been very appreciative of all the players. Obviously, when Luca Brussel lost, it was a blow, but it didn't stop people turning out to support the rest of the players. Absolutely. I don't know what the contract is, but whatever it is, extend it. Wow. Well, that feels like a, a last roll of the dice there. Mm. And I don't think his numbers come up. Eight. <laughs> well, he's going up the pot success. 96%. Now, he's going to finish on 96%. That's seriously good for a semi final. Yes, and, and this would be a 6 1 victory in about an hour and a half. 14. Incredible. And, uh, well, anticipation. The crowd, you can hear a pin drop. Not a great day for that man, but there's plenty ahead during the season. He's done well to get into the semi-finals, but he's come up against a top flighter in top form. Nice. Yes, he's seen here firsthand the standard you need to produce to be a top player, a consistent winner in this sport. Chud Trump's played magnificently. Snooker's required, but uh, he's not going to get the chance to play for them. Did turn around though in that second frame. He was unlucky when he potted the blue, a red went in. That got Trump going. He made a good break from that. 61, then 100, 63, 87, 115. Seven. And this frame is surely over two. <laughs> Different country to last year. It was Romania. But Judd Trump's going to be in the European Masters final again. 33. And if he can play like this tomorrow, then either Stuart Bingham or Zhao Yulong will have to produce something special to stop him winning again. <laughs> 37. <laughs> 38. So short and sweet, really. It was an exhibition of high quality snooker from Chud Trump. And uh, they're on their feet. Some of the spectators here, Ian, they thoroughly enjoyed that. A succession of big breaks to put himself through to tomorrow's final. What an entertaining, if rather short match that was, Judd Trump then, the first man into the final. He's beaten Chao Yu Peng by six frames to one.